So today what we're going to be doing is adding to our ultimate media server stack. So we're going to be doing a speed test, Libra speed, uh, Mylar for comic books, Ambi to, it's like a request for Plex or MB or Jellyfin, uh, NZB get and NZB Hydra for those people who use Usenet service. And finally, J downloader for our data hoarders who like downloading entire websites. A special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a supporter of the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to Technodad Life and my name is Jeff and so what we're going to be doing today is updating our VPN stack with some of the most requested programs. So let's take a look at those right now. So the first is Libra Speed, so we can speed test our VPN. This will be running inside our VPN. Mylar for people who love comic books. And then there's Umbi, which is a request service if you run Plex, but also MB or Jellyfin if you're sharing your server with multiple people. NZB.get is a Usenet downloader if you use a Usenet service. NZB Hydra 2 is an indexer or basically a search service for Usenet. And then finally, Downloader 2, which can download entire websites at once. I hope you have lots of disk space if you use JDownloader. So next, we want to go to Open Media Vault, go to our shared folders. Click on the down arrow next to relative path, click on absolute path so it's checked. Then we want to right click, inspect, and then double click on our app data folder and then copy. And then paste that into a word program. And as you can see, we're gonna do the same thing with the next two also. Once you're done with that, click close, then open putty. Put in your IP address of your server, then click open, log in as root, then your password, then type ID, and then your username, mine is Jeff, hit enter, and then we're going to be copying the UID, which for me is 1000, the GID is 100, and then add that to our Word document. Next, go to Wikipedia time zones, and you need to find your time zone. In the time zone area we want to actually save is right here in the middle, time zone database name. Scroll down till you get to your time zone and then copy that and then paste that also into the Word document. So now we're ready to modify the compose file so it's ready for our server. So next we want to copy the file in the, that I left in the comments down below. It should be pinned to the top so it should be the first comment. If you followed my last video, then you downloaded Sublime Text, and then you can paste that into Sublime Text. Now what I'm going to do is show you in a Word document what you actually have to change. And so for Libra Speed, so we need to change the PUID to 1000, PGI to 100, or whatever your numbers were, time zone, your time zone. And then we need to add in our app data folder slash Libra Speed. Mylar, same thing up above app data slash mylar, and then our media folder slash comments, and then finally our downloads folder. Ambi, PUDIG, PGID, time zone, app data slash ambi, NZB gets, same thing in the environment, and app data NZB gets, and downloads, Hydra, environments the same, app data slash Hydra, downloads, then J downloader, environmental variables the same, App Data J Downloader, and then Downloads. Now, all these programs work on the Raspberry Pi except for the last one, J Downloader. And so you have two options if you have a Raspberry Pi. You can just delete that program, or you can just leave it in and it won't run, so it doesn't really matter. So now we've customized it all for our server. And what we can do is save this file. And then if we ever need to restore our computer, then we can just copy this and paste it in and everything's ready for us. And so next what we want to do is go to Portainer. Here we can see we have all the files from our first VPN stack. And if you haven't already done this, make sure you go watch the first video, which I'll leave a link to up above here. And you need that to do this part of the video. Click on Stacks, 
click on our VPN stack, click on editor. And so first what we're going to do is add in all those extra ports that we had. So go to Sublime Texts, copy our ports, hit return, paste those in and adjust any spacing. Next, we're going to scroll down to the end of this stack. Put our cursor after stopped, hit return twice to make some space. Go back to subline text and then copy our new stack and then paste that in down here. And just make sure that there's no errors and Libra speed is off so we're going to backspace there oh, it looks like all our names are off by one or two and then once everything is correct then we can scroll down and hit update stack now it's time for a cup of coffee once that's done if we scroll down we can see our new stacks have installed and for me, even though I'm running on x86, J Downloader did not install, and so I'll show you what you have to do for that. Go back to our stack, go down to J Downloader, copy the image name, then go over to Images in Portainer, paste in J Downloader, and then click Pull Image. Then go back to our stack and open that up. Scroll down and update stack. And then if J Downloader didn't appear the first time, it will appear the second time. So very simple. For some reason, the J slashage Docker containers don't download well. And so you have to download them manually sometimes. Next, we want to copy our IP address and start opening all those different packages we just installed. For a Libre speed, paste in your IP address, then port 83. And so this is a simple speed test. And so if we click start on the speed test, the Docker version uh, doesn't tell you where it's actually testing, but most of the servers are in Europe in case your numbers are low. But this is actually really cool because I compared a x86 to a Raspberry Pi. Let's just say the Raspberry Pi was like in the 200 range and our x86 machine here is in the 1000 range, and that's with a Raspberry Pi 4. So it's definitely, the networking on a Raspberry Pi is not the best. Next is Mylar, and so that's our IP address, colon 8090. And so for this, we need to do two things. So one is add an either a turn provider, and here we would have transmission, and then we would type our host name, username, directory, or here we have nzb gets. And again, type in the same things here. MB is for Plex, MB, or Jellyfin. I have Jellyfin installed, so we're just going to skip that. Type in a username and password, and then it will ask you to re-log in. Click Remember Me, sign in, and then you're into MB, however you say that. Click on Settings, click on Media Server, Add Server. Then you'll need to put in your host name, your IP address, and then your Jellyfin server IP key. And where you would find that is you go to Jellyfin, click on the person, dashboard, API keys, and then hit plus for API key. And that will give you an API key that you, then you can paste into Ambi. Next is nzbgets, and the username is nzbgets, and the password is nzbbackward plus 6789. Paste that in, sign in. Next is nzbhydra2, and there's some nice directions. Then you add an indexer, and choose from preset, and you choose the indexer that you already use, then click save. And then you can get an API key that then you can add back into other programs. So next is jdownloader2. And so for this, we need to log in. So if this page doesn't show up automatically, go to settings, my jdownloader, and then this will log in. And then put in your jdownloader accounts and then connect and you can use jdownloader. So just a quick tutorial, adding extra programs to our VPN service. 
I uh, hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.